Who of you sometimes dreams of being able to fly? Wow, okay. And who actually tried realizing this dream? <laughs> okay, well, I tried as well. Or at least I tried to visualize what it would look like. Since I remember, I dream of being able to fly like a bird with flapping wings. And I like to imagine what it would feel like to float through the air and see the ground beneath me passing by. And that fantasy made me decide to start the Human Bird Wings Project. This was a fictional story which took place on the internet during a period of eight months. And the main character of this story was called Jarno Smeets. And for those who didn't know this yet, this is actually me. It's my digital alter ego, especially created to tell this story. And I can assure you, it was sometimes very difficult to be him. Jano has one big goal in his life, and that is to fly with his own built wings. And his story focuses on sketching, designing, and building a revolutionary flapping wing system. But it also shows elements of his personal life. For example, one of the story elements is about his grandfather, who had the same dream but never succeeded in realizing it during his life. And all of this was being shared on a diary-like weblog. On this blog, Jano posted uh, the progress of his wings. He showed research and um, well, also talked about his grandfather, of course. And this blog functioned as the heart of the story. And all sorts of social media were surrounding it. And on his YouTube page, he posted 14 videos during the period of the project in which he shared the most important parts of the story. Hey, I'm Jano, and on this video channel and on my WordPress blog, I'm going to share my personal DIY project. Hey guys, I'm here in Amsterdam at the Museum Square, and I'm going to talk with Brett Otten about my flying concept. I think it's more exciting, your plan is more exciting, because you want to have movable wings. You can see milled balsa wood, so really lightweight. If you look a little closer, we notice that the harness will be in a... I think I can't do this completely on my own, so... Well, if you're living around The Hague in the Netherlands, uh, please send me a message uh, through YouTube, Facebook or Twitter, or just send me an email, and let me know if you're able to come out and help me building these wings. Well, in his last video, Jarno asked his followers to come out and help, and he actually got quite some response on that. But of course, I wasn't really able to invite these people because it was all still fiction. But from that moment, we decided to create more fictional characters. We hired actors to play the friends of Jarno. And from that moment, the, the videos became more energetic and the wings really got shape. is going to film the complete process. And there's these friends. Well, now these wings were slowly getting finished, Jana also started to attract attention from the media. Humo, one of Belgium's biggest magazines, invited Jano for an interview. So Jano invited this journalist to his studio and they spent three hours talking about the wing design, his grandfather's dream, and the way in which Jano got inspired by young albatrosses. And of course, Jano felt very honored by this, but me personally, as Floris, that was one of the most uncomfortable moments in my life. <laughs> at the one hand, there was this, the constant fear of getting unmasked. And at the other hand, I felt very bad of misleading this, this journalist. But luckily, he fully believed in Jarno's story, and the result was this three-page interview. And there was, was more media. Financial Times did an interview with Jarno, and two of the biggest technology websites, TechCrunch and Engadget 
also wrote very detailed articles about Jano's wings. And all of this media caused an exponential growth of Jano's followers. And everyone was living towards the first climax in the story, a test flight with the wings. And that test flight happened in a park in The Hague, but Jana only succeeded to get lifted for 50 centimeters. <laughs> a setback for Jano, but a big achievement according to all the media and Jano's followers. <laughs> Wired wrote an, intercal, an article about uh, the bird wings, and they fully analyzed the test flight, made all sorts of calculations on the wings, <laughs> and they concluded that Jano was actually very close to realizing one of mankind's biggest dreams. But there were also skeptics who noticed that there was computer animation involved. In my animation process, I made a small mistake. In one shot, there was a black square on the wing, and in the other shot, the black square suddenly disappeared. An observant viewer noticed this and spread his discovery all over the internet. This also caused other people to start uh, investigating Jano's Facebook, one guy noticed that his profile picture was photoshopped. He tracked back the original image on Google Images and posted his result on uh, Reddit, a big online community. And I thought, well, now it's all over. Jano's world slowly started to fall apart. And the end of the story wasn't even finished. So after this, we decided to keep Jano quiet for a few months and only updated the true followers with small steps in the wing progress. And people seemed to forget about all the buzz. Everyone was living towards the final chapter in the human bird wing story, a successful test flight with Jarno's own built wings. Met the andere camera filmen. Well, within 24 hours, this video completely exploded on the internet. News broadcasters from all over the world wanted to talk with Jarno about his successful test flight. But since this was the last chapter of the story of the Human Bird Wings project, I decided to not answer these requests because the fiction was over. And what happened then was that all these news, broadca news broadcasters started to rip the video off YouTube and use it in their news items. And there were also a lot of funny uh, video posts of his uh, true followers. Jarno Smeets can fly like a bird. Flying like a bird. And 500 years after Leonardo da Vinci dreamed of man taking to the sky. It's called human <coughs> bird wings. A Dutch engineer called Jarno Smeets. Take a look, here's a so-called bird man. A Dutch man is sky high after he says his incredible invention took flight. Hey guys, so I just saw flying like a bird. Diese Woche verleiht das Internet Flügel. And this last guy was actually very funny. He completely copied Jarno's video, but then with very small pink wings on his back. <laughs> but there were also skeptics again. Industrial Light and Magic, a big visual effects company from the United States, analyzed Jarno's video and discovered that there was visual effects in, uh, involved, of course. And they spread it all over the technology blocks, and slowly, the flying Dutchman became the lying Dutchman. Uh, this, oh, sorry. This moment made me decide to reveal the truth in The Wereld Draait Door. Uh, dus Jarno is inderdaad een fictief personage. Jij heet geen Jarno. Ik heet Hoe geen... heet jij wel? Ik heet Floris Kijk. Floris Kijk, wel aangenaam. 
Dank je. Ja, oké. Okay. Begin en, opnieuw. Uh, ik ben eigen filmmaker ja. uh, en animator. Um, en ik heb dit project, ben er nu acht maanden mee bezig, als een soort van experiment over online media. Hoe kan je een verhaal vertellen uh, via een blog? Ja, is het... Applaus! <laughs> Well, within five minutes after this show, Jarno Smeets and Flora Skyke were a worldwide trending topic on Twitter. <laughs> and the days after, I spent doing interviews in all kinds of... Oh. <laughs> Sorry, that was my, <laughs> my big joke. The days after, I spent doing interviews at television shows all over the world and explained my story behind the human bird wings. But there were also people who felt very disappointed. Some of them said they felt cheated, and others said they felt that dreams were crushed because everything turned out to be fiction. But luckily, most of the responses were very positive. I mean, still better storyline than Avatar. I see that as uh, quite a compliment. <laughs> Looking back at the project, I can conclude that I learned a couple of things. I don't want to act again. <laughs> I don't want to lie again about my project. But as a filmmaker, this was a very successful way of reaching millions of people. And the most important thing, because this all turned out to be fiction, the dream is still a dream. Thank you.